Hello and Merry Christmas. Welcome back to Game On with Peter. And today we're playing a game called Wrapping Paper Duel with my dad. Whoever's wrapping paper roll breaks first, loses. Ready? Begin. That was fun. I got to fight my dad, but I lost. For once in my life, I thought I was actually gonna be my dad in the fight. But anyways, that was Game On with Peter. See you next time, and Merry Christmas. How many of you have presents under your tree already? Any guesses what they might be? I'm curious to know how quickly you think you'll be able to have all those gifts opened. My guess is by the time Christmas Day is over, there won't be an unopened gift in your house. There shouldn't be. Gifts are meant to be opened and it's not truly yours until it is opened. Whatever is inside of this box gives me no joy unless I open it up, right? So why would I leave it sitting there unopened? For the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about the gift of Jesus. One way we celebrate the gift of Jesus is by remembering his birth. Jesus came to earth as a baby to die for our sins, and then he rose again. Why did he do all of that? So he could be with you forever and ever. The gift of salvation was paid for by his blood, and it's offered to all of us. But before we can enjoy that gift, we have to open it. Inside of this box is candy. I bet candy brings you a lot of joy. Imagine if I handed you this box, and you did not open it. You wouldn't have had the joy of discovering the candy in the box and you would never have the joy of eating the candy in the box. You'd be staring at a wrapped package, never knowing what was waiting for you inside. Jesus has a lifetime of blessings waiting for you. This is the season that we celebrate the gift of Jesus. Don't let Christmas pass by without opening up the greatest gift you'll ever receive. Hey, look at this gift. If I don't open it now, there's no joy now. But guess what? We have joy now with Jesus because Jesus was born for us. And we need to open that gift in our hearts so we can receive that joy and that love and that peace. Are you ready to hear our Bible memory verse of the week? Here we go. Luke chapter 2, verse 11. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Luke chapter 2, verse 11. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. All right, let's go back to our lesson. Merry Christmas, everyone. That blessed Christmas morn Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain 
that Jesus Christ is born. Don't tell it on me shepherds did when the angels came and told them that yeah. Jesus was born. Are you ready to get in today's lesson, Mary? Yeah! Alright, let's go! <laughs> there was a time in your life when you didn't care about opening presents. If your mom or dad had any video of you on your first birthday, ask them to show you. One-year-old birthday parties are fun because everybody loves to see that one-year-old in a high chair with a piece of cake. But to get that fun, they have to sit through mom and dad trying desperately to get the baby to open the present. It usually goes like this. It's not until about the age of three you get the hang of opening presents. When you do, mom and dad have a whole new problem. You're so good at it that they have to put a gate on the Christmas tree or else you'll open them all, yours and everybody else's. It's great to receive wrapped presents. We love watching them pile up or under the tree and counting how many has our name on it. But the real fun comes when we open the presents and see what's inside. Only then we can really say that we have received a present. All month long, we've been talking about the first Christmas gift, God's only son, Jesus. God gave us this gift on the very first Christmas. We talked about how unexpected the gift was and how many people returned the gift. Today, I wanna to talk about what it means to receive that gift. Why, hello there. Welcome to Storytime with Mary. Oh boy, do we have a great story today. Let's get right into it. Luke chapter two, verse eight through 20. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and got into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord had told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who were lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they have heard and seen, which were just as they've been told. There are two parts of this story I want you to notice. First, the gift is given. God sends the good news to the shepherds through his angels. Notice that God doesn't send the news to the palace of Herod or to the rich people in Jerusalem. He sends it to men as poor and lowly as Jesus' earthly parents. A reminder that Jesus is a gift for everyone, no matter what they are. This is God handling the wrapped package. This is God setting the gift under the tree. The shepherds have it, and the second part is up to them. Let's reread Luke 2.15. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. The shepherds just didn't want to say thank you and go back to their sheep. They opened the gift. They wanted to see what was inside. So they ran to Bethlehem and found the baby in the stable. Only then they could truly say, we have seen the gift of God. We have received the Messiah. Some people think that if they come to church, that's enough. They think if I grow up in a Christian home, I got Jesus. If I memorize the scripture, read the Bible, or go to a Christian school, I have Jesus. But that's just the first part. They have the wrapped package in their hands. 
but they haven't received it. Receiving Jesus means you get on your knees and invite him into your life. You repent of your sins and you commit to living by his example. You share Jesus by serving others, by doing God's work and telling other people what God has done for you. Receiving Christ is the greatest decision you will ever make. It's a life-changing decision. It means that you no longer belong to this world, but to God. It means you have Jesus in your heart and you're committed to live for him. God is calling to all of us. Don't set my son on the shelf. Open the gift I am giving you. See what is inside. Don't leave an unopened present under the tree this Christmas. If you never invited Jesus into your life, I invite you to receive him today. It is the greatest gift you'll ever receive. Bye, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to Trey's Attic. It's your house with the mouse. Andy, today we're unscrambling the reindeer names. The scrambled name will pop up on your screen and you gotta find out which reindeer it is. Ready? Go! The name is Blitz it. Next reindeer, go. The name is Donner. Next reindeer, go. The answer is Cupid. That's it for today for True Dandy. Bye and have a Merry Christmas. Recap. How fast can you unwrap a gift? I bet on Christmas morning you make record time. People spend millions of dollars every year on wrapping paper, bows, ribbon, and tape. But all that expense and all that hard work is thrown out on Christmas Day when the gifts are open. It's why we wrap presents, to hide what they are until a person opens them. They are meant to be torn open and discovered, not left hidden in paper. Yet so many people leave God's blessings on the shelf, neatly wrapped, never seeing what's inside. Do you know who the angels told about Jesus first? The shepherds. They were like a kid at Christmas. They left their flocks behind and rushed to unwrap the gift given to them. The shepherds received the gift of Jesus by going to Bethlehem. But today we receive the gift of salvation through Jesus by believing in Him, accepting Him as our Savior, and trying our best to live a set-apart life from the world. Let's learn some more about how we can open the gift of Jesus. I hope you enjoyed our kids church lesson for today do you love Christmas because I love Christmas but I want to go over our Bible memory verse with you quick today and I just want to pray with you before we go today our Bible memory verse is for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord Luke 2 11 let's say it again for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord, Luke 2, 11. Don't forget to check out our Make It Stick page today with your family. You can find the link in the description or you can go to this link right here. Today we learned in our lesson about how Jesus is the great gift of Christmas. If you wanna accept Jesus as your Christmas gift, you could pray this prayer with me. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for sending Jesus as the gift of Christmas. I want to have Jesus be in my heart, and I want to accept him as the gift that you've given to me. Lord, thank you for loving me so much to give me this amazing gift of Jesus. Amen. All right, guys, go out there and have an awesome and fun week. Remember what Christmas is all about. It's all about Jesus. Merry Christmas. Bye.